Welcome back. There are many financial milestones to prepare for in life, especially when it comes to retirement. Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers joining me now to talk about that. First off, good morning to you, Mike. Well, good morning, Scott. How are you doing? I'm doing well. We're hoping all our people out there concerned about our finances doing so as well. So big question here. What are some of the first milestones to keep on your radar? Well, in the early years, you really want to sp uh, focus on eliminating debt. You want to spend less than you make, okay? And you want to create an emergency fund. As you're approaching retirement, there are two age-based milestones, and they're really important. Social Security, you can take Social Security between 62 and 70. There are tax implications for taking Social Security. There's some strategy involved that you need to consider. If, you, if you're uncomfortable with that, you need to get some professional help with that. And then there's something called a Medicare supplement or Advantage plan. You've got a decision of, of Medicare at 65. And those are different types of health plans to help you in your retirement years. All right, so that's knowing when those milestones may happen. Just the tip of the iceberg though, Mike, so how can people start preparing for those? Well, the first step really, it's budgeting. And nobody loves to budget. You know, you've got better things to do um, on a Saturday or Sunday, but it's really important. You need to budget to understand how much money you can save for retirement. And you take that information and you drop it into a financial plan. So the financial plan is going to tell you where you're at, where you're going, how to get there. And you need to understand how much money you need to save until you can call it quits, until you can, you know, walk away from that job. So I guess in addition to preparing for the big milestone ages, I guess planning for retirement also requires consistent habits. So what kind of habits can people form right now to maybe benefit their retirement planning? Certainly you know, eliminating debt, spending less than you're making and budgeting, they're all really important. But the key to those, all three of those things, it's really having a goal and checking to make sure you're doing those things so that you reach the goal. Because what I see happen, you know, in many instances, somebody will create a budget or they'll figure out how to spend less than they're making and then they just let it go. You gotta check in on a regular basis, focus on that goal, and that's gonna be the key to get you to where you wanna be in retirement. Okay, we got about 30 seconds left. I'm just curious, one of the reasons I think so many people do not do all these things is because maybe they don't think their finances are great and so they just kind of avoid it. What have you found from people who come to you? It's overwhelming to a lot of people. You know, you're busy living your life. You don't really want to think about it. And sometimes, you know, alarm clock goes off at age 60 and you're way behind. So the key to any of these situations is just start with something and get that snowball effect. You would be surprised if you start somewhere, how quickly that builds. As that builds, you're going to get more confidence. You're going to get more comfortable that you can make it happen. But if you're not looking at it at all, you're just putting yourself you know, behind the power curve and it's going to be very difficult when you do retire. Got to be proactive. Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers, as always. Mike, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Scott. Not a problem. Lindy, over to you.